Right, so let's get the all-in action. Kortlev was all-in, but he's still here. Let's see if we've lost anybody. Sevens, Gosain with a heart draw. Demeyer, Queens over the board, no heart. And a heart on the turn will kill it for Demeyer. That'll be the end of the road. Very unlucky, no way he can really win from there. The Lion of Lebanon roars with hearts. And we are another player down. So Demeyer, a fresh face in the South African poker community, will see the exit in 108. And everybody comes to see what's going on. Next, King Jack of Spades. Joe Boy Rami. Joe Rami, the soprano, the mayor of Mayfair. Oliver Berman. Will hit the jack. So Berman now finds his 10. So he needs an ace or a 10 with two cards to come. Rami needs to hold on. Looking very relaxed behind that hat. Three, deuce, queen, seven, nine, no ace, no 10. Game over. End of the road for Oli Berman and... Joe Boy Rami will pick up a nice healthy pot. The mayor of Mayfair marches on. Oliver Berman exits in 107th position. And right, so it's a pair of threes for none other than, well, it's a player I don't know, Etergy, I think is his name. Neil Andrews has got queens and a queen on board. Pastana has got a diamond draw. Etergy has got a set of threes. And two people have hit their set on the flop. So it's set over set and a nut flush draw. Well, this is an action flop. And uh, will Neil Andrews hold on here with top set? He has to beat another three. And he certainly has to beat a diamond. Neil Andrews with the best of it. What a great flop. But he's got to beat two more cards. There'll be 2-2. Two, two, and Andrews will make a full boat. Queens full of deuces. Knocking off two players. Well played, Neil Andrews. Hello, everybody. Um, we've just had the first session, effectively. It went up two levels. And um, I need a reminder, actually, because my head's in a bit of weird space. We've got 500, 1,000 now, and the antis are 100. That's where we've just finished. When we come back after this brief 15, 20-minute break, uh, we go to 700, 1,400, and I think the antis might go up more. Anyway, it still says 100 there. But, uh, yeah, I've had an interesting uh, two hours. I uh, had a few cards this morning and uh, got an interesting table, as is always the case when you're playing with Darren Kramer and uh, just had a very interesting hand just shows you even a uh, what do they say even a blind chicken finds the odd pellet because uh, I had pocket queens up against Joel's pocket threes and then I think it was ace king suited and the flop came 10 three and queen so uh, I had the set of queens and Joel sadly for him bad luck uh, hit the pocket threes and there were a lot of all-ins anyway I now have 115,000 chips back to the action so it's Peter Kortlev Booker T has just found a big double up of Howie's son. Howie look a little bit frustrated at the moment. Conrad Kutz have been very quiet. He's usually a very active player, Conrad. And uh, for whatever reason, he's staying quite sedate at this table. So maybe he's just trying to find a spot against these professionals. Now Brow with aces. Well, Brow has been playing all kinds of random hands so far. So... Well, this is Lamberti's interesting. Lamberti's announced raise with jacks. Well, Lam Browers now raised it, and Lamberti snap re-raised him. So, Lamberti, he is in desperate shape here against Browers raise. Will Browers ship on him here? Will he smooth call to lay a bit of a trap? Do you can see that Brower thinks through everything for every hand. He looks how much is in the pot, how much he bets, how much is behind his stack. He made it with the Okay, now... What I love about this is Brower has just got into a whole debacle with the dealer about Lamberti's raise. Now, if you're sitting in Lamberti's chair, you're thinking to yourself, this guy's very weak. He's and actually he's hating my raise. He's hating my raise. I love what Brower's doing. It's so clever. He's not just showing weakness by acting. He's showing weakness by talking. The man is absolutely superb. So now Lamberti's sitting there thinking to himself, he's got this guy absolutely stuffed. 
And look at Brow put even more of a performance on here. Now he's taking his time to count it out. He hates this re-raise. He got into a whole episode. Okay, I'll eventually call. Stuff it. But he's making it a grudge call, so it looks like he's really unhappy to be in the hand. So well played by Brower here. Now Lamberti, if he finds a board that looks friendly to him, he's going broke. King, six, deuce. The king may save him. Hold on. Snap all in from Lamberti. And snap call from Brower. How are you, nurse? Well, you'd think that with the king on the board, Lamberti would have thought about it for just a second, but wow, no chance. Wow, 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 wow. The red lights are on, but I think it's home time for Daniel Lamberti. He was completely and utterly perplexed and convinced by Brower's performance. Brower got into a whole debate about the chip count, for God's sake. It wasn't just to act weak. He started counting the chips, looking weak, and Lamberti fell for it. And this, I think, is the end. It is the end. No jack for Lamberti. The king came but didn't slow him down. He moved in. He thought Brow was very weak. And Brow will pick up almost 70 grand. Lamberti will march to the rail. That was very well played by Ryan Brow. Really, really well played. I mean, the, the conversation was the, with the dealer was a clincher. How he makes it 3,000. Howie will make it 3,000. Conrad will pick up Lolly's chips and let go. Is King 10 a good hand to be raising with Dave, or is it more marginal? Well, I think it's a pretty marginal hand. It's a marginal hand. I think against Ace King, it's extremely marginal. Yes, as well. <laughs> but I, I think that Sun is just, he's being frustrated. You know, he hasn't won a pot in this, in this session yet. And he's just looking to get involved and win something. You know, you get that feeling where at the table, you start feeling that like the gods are against you. Every time you get a hand, you walk into a bigger hand. It's going to happen here again. And you actually just want to win a pot. It doesn't matter how you get there. Whatever hand you play, you just want to win a pot. You just get the feeling of, of scooping the chips. And I think that's the feeling he's getting at the moment. So he's going to auto call this. And now he needs clubs or a 10. The board comes. Deuce, queen, queen. Two clubs for Howie. And he smashes all in. Right, so how is all in on the draw? Is it a good all in on the draw? Well, you know, if he's playing two clubs in his hand, he probably, after being re raised, thinks that uh, he is King 10, is in trouble. So at this stage, he's convinced himself that he needs to get clubs or needs to get a draw to actually win this hand. So as far as he's concerned, uh, this is his spot. He got exactly what he was looking for, was, which was a club draw, and he got it, and so he moved in with it. Um, I personally don't like to move in the draw, especially for my life. But in this situation, with King to the clubs, knowing that you're probably behind pre-flop, having two clubs on the board is exactly what you want. And it's a very hard call for Basilia. If Basilia hasn't got aces, kings, or a queen in his hand, it's a very hard call to make for all this money. I mean, I think the bet is about 40,000. So Basilia will probably feel that his ace-king is actually good here because, you know, uh, all-in is a very hectic play. But is he willing to commit that many chips to a pot that he's not sure about? Well, that's the problem. You see, the point is now that he's got a situation in his hand where Sun could easily have sixes or eights or nines. He could easily have sixes, eights or nines, and the ace king is dead. But Basilia, as you can see, he's thinking that this guy is he's probably weaker than he looks. Basilia's really thinking about this. So it's a good read he's made, but it's a very big amount of money. It's 45,000 into 65,000. You've been banned. I mean, it's you barely deserve. even money, just over even money. So it's, I mean, it's a really big bet, and it's a very hard bet to call. So he'll show Ace King of Spades a let go, and all in play works for how he's saying. He picks up a nice, healthy pot, so he'll just like the feeling of winning a pot now.